Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Exchange Server 2019. In the last video, we talked about prerequisites and requirements for Exchange Hybrid deployment. In this particular video, we will run hybrid configuration wizard and we will configure Exchange Hybrid between our on-premise Exchange 2019 and Exchange Online. Hybrid Configuration Wizard is an application that is used to configure Exchange Hybrid between on-premise Exchange Server and Exchange Online. You can download Hybrid Configuration Wizard either from on-premise Exchange Server. You can go to Exchange Admin Center, go to Hybrid, and then click Configure. You can download it from here. Or you can go to Office 365 Tenant, go to Exchange Admin Center, go to Hybrid, and click Configure. You can download it from here as well. However, you should always download the latest version of Hybrid Configuration Wizard. Go to your on-premise Exchange server, go to browser, and here type https aka.ms slash hybrid wizard. Press enter. And this will download an application. Now this is hybrid configuration wizard application. Make sure you are downloading this application on your exchange server. So let's run this application. Let me close this window. So this is hybrid configuration wizard welcome page. You can click on next. On this particular screen, hybrid configuration wizard will automatically detect your exchange server. In case if this wizard is not able to detect your on-premise exchange server automatically, in that case, you will have to manually specify your exchange server details. So here we can see this wizard has automatically detected my exchange server. We can see the domain name that I'm using in on-premise. This is the version and build number of my exchange server, CU11. And this is the license that I have assigned, Enterprise Edition. Role is mailbox role because I'm using 2019 exchange server. So there is only one mailbox role. And this is the site name where this mailbox server is installed. And this is the product ID. For Office 365 Exchange Online, you will select Office 365 Worldwide. No changes are required here. Go next. On the next screen, this wizard will automatically detect your administrator credentials that you are currently using in your exchange server. So these are the admin credentials that I'm currently using to log into this machine. And under Office 365 Exchange Online account, you will click on sign in. And here you will type the credentials of global administrator account for your Office 365 tenant. Click sign in. So here we can see the credentials are updated and click next. So now this wizard will try to connect to your exchange server and to your Office 365 tenant. So for exchange server, it is succeeded. And let's wait for a few seconds. It should complete for Office 365 tenant as well. So now we can see it is succeeded for both for Exchange Server and for Office 365 as well. Click Next. Now here you can select if you want to deploy minimal hybrid configuration or full hybrid configuration. You will go with full hybrid configuration and click Next. And if you want to perform one-time transfer of your Exchange organization to Office 365, you can check this option that says Organization Configuration Transfer. So once you have made changes as per your requirement, you can click Next. Under hybrid topology, you will select if you want to deploy classic hybrid topology or modern hybrid topology. I'll go with classic hybrid topology, so click Next. Under on-premise account for migration, click on Enter, and here you will select the administrator account, and you can type the password, click OK, and click Next. On this particular screen, you can select if you have Edge Transport Server and you want to route all emails between on-premise and exchange online through edge transport server. 
And if you do not have S transport server, you can select the first option that says configure my client access and mailbox servers for secure mail transport. So I do not have edge server in my environment. So I'll select the first option and then go next. Under receive connector configuration, you will select your mailbox server, check this option and then click next. So that means the receive connector will be created on this particular on-premise exchange server. Go next. Under send connector configuration, same way you will select your exchange server, go next. And under transport certificate, this wizard should detect your SSL certificate. And from here, we can select our certificate that is from Let's Encrypt. So go next. Under organization FQTN, we will type the fully qualified domain name of our exchange server that can be resolved from internet. For my exchange server, it is mail.office365concepts.com. So enter the fully qualified domain name and then go next. Click on update. So now this wizard will run few PowerShell commands in the background and it will create exchange hybrid deployment between your on-premise and Office 365. So the hybrid configuration wizard is completed successfully and the exchange hybrid is deployed. So let's click close. Now to verify hybrid configuration, you can go to exchange management shell and here you can run get hyphen hybrid configuration. Press enter. So in this output, you can verify if hybrid configuration is deployed properly or not. Receiving transport servers shows the host name of my mailbox server. So that means this mailbox server will be responsible to receive emails. Sending transport servers is again the host name of my mailbox server who is responsible to send emails. On-premises smart host is my mailbox server. Domains is the domain that I'm using in hybrid office365concepts.com. I'm using this domain in on-premise and in Office 365. So this domain is being used for hybrid configuration in my environment. In features, you can see what features are enabled with this exchange hybrid topology. Free busy, move mailbox, that means onboarding and offboarding, mail tips, message tracking, OWA redirection, online archive, secure mail and photos. So all these features are enabled in this exchange hybrid deployment because we selected classic hybrid deployment while running hybrid configuration wizard. Rest, we can see the certificate name that is binded with this hybrid configuration and rest, you can check other details as well. Apart from this PowerShell command, there is another way to check hybrid configuration logs. In Exchange Server, go to C drive, go to users, then go to the admin account who is currently logged in and here go to app data go to roaming microsoft and click exchange hybrid configuration open the text file and here you can see all the exchange hybrid configuration logs whatever hybrid configuration wizard has done in the background everything is logged in these logs now once you configure exchange hybrid and if you go to exchange admin center you can click on Office 365 tab and from here you can manage Exchange Admin Center. Go to Recipients. Here I can see my Global Administrator account. If I go to Office 365 Exchange Admin Center recipients, I can see the same mailbox here as well. So after configuring Exchange Hybrid, you can manage Office 365 Exchange Admin Center from your on-premise Exchange Admin Center as well. So this is the another benefit of hybrid configuration. In the next video, we will understand the migration process in Exchange Hybrid. We will understand how mailbox migration works and what happens in the background when you migrate a mailbox from on-premise to Exchange Online in Exchange Hybrid. So that is all for now. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.